Writing lyrics is either going to be the easiest or the most difficult part of the process. It's the most personal aspect and can often make you feel very vulnerable without even sharing them. We'll get into some methods as far as how to streamline your writing. But the most important thing to remember is not to be too precious with them. You want to let them happen in a natural way without second guessing every word. And that'll often lead to the best and the easiest results. There are many approaches to writing lyrics. Some treat it as a form of poetry. Artists such as Bob Dylan or many MCs in the hip hop genre write long flowing lines filled with metaphors and symbolism. These can stand on their own with or without music. On the other hand, you have artists that have short, concise phrases that serve the melody. They may not look like much on paper, but they gain a deep meaning when set to music. Whatever approach you decide on is gonna guide you along the way. So now's the time to make some important decisions about your song. Ask yourself these three questions. What is the song about? Who is singing it and to whom? And what is the overall emotional impact you want your song to have? What is your song about? Is it a love song? It can be about anything. It can be about a truck or a tree. Some of my favorite artists have songs that it's really hard to decipher the meaning. Take a song like Devil's Haircut by Beck. It feels like a stream of consciousness, but the imagery is so great that the song stands on its own. Who is singing the song and to whom? Is this a song from your perspective to a loved one? Or is it from you to a wider audience? Take a song like All You Need Is Love by John Lennon and the Beatles. He's talking to the whole world there. Or as we talked about before, maybe this is a third person narrative about a character and you're looking at it from the outside. Finally, what is the overall emotional impact you want the song to have? Is this a sad song that belongs on a playlist with a lot of other sad songs? Or maybe it's a more high energy, up-tempo positive song. Maybe it's a funny song with a comical twist. Maybe it's just about nostalgia. Whatever it is, know the feeling you want the song to communicate and it's gonna guide you along your way. Let's get into some techniques you can experiment with. One of the first things that comes to mind is repeating the same lyrical phrase over changing chords. That can modify the meaning. Take a phrase like, here we go again. It can sound happy if I'm using major chords. All of a sudden it takes kind of a dark turn. If you've constructed a full melody already, then you have some guidelines to work with, such as how many syllables are going to fit into each phrase. On the other hand, if you have a lyrical phrase that you already like, well, that's going to guide your melody, and especially the rhythm. If you don't have a rhythm in mind, maybe try experimenting with triplets. One and a two and a here I go. I'll try some eighth notes. One and two and here I go. Walking in a circle till I get to where I started. There's always good old quarter notes. One, two, here I go. This is how I found my way home. Of course, you can sing longer half notes. One, two. Here I go, I can't go back. And if your voice allows for it, whole notes. One, two, here I go. Don't say you know the way. The the best phrases, though, are going to blend rhythms. You're going to get the most interesting lines that way. Something like this. I've got something better than what I started with. Maybe it's the weather, so I'll get on with it. So today's challenge is to write some lyrics. Answer those three questions. What is this song about? 
who is singing it and to whom, and finally, what is the overall emotional impact you want the song to have. That's gonna make the whole process easier, so go ahead and get started. Write them down or record yourself singing them. Either way, let's get those lyrics down.